right, so we're back with episode three of Building the Blue Goblet Tavern. Sleeping to make it day out. And it's daylight. So the plan for this episode is to fix up the outside of this tavern. I'm gonna tear out this old fence and replace it with a new fence. I'm gonna get that giant stairway to heaven out of here. Uh, I might do something about that. I don't know what that is. Get rid of these rotten trees back here. And just generally spiff up the exterior of this building. Oh, we're missing a window on that one. I'll have to fix that too. So yeah, let's get started on fixing up the exterior of this place. Starting by breaking it. So let's equip the fence. So the door path is over here. So I think I'm just gonna wall this off. Oh, this is set to be only 45 degree angle. That's kind of lame. Or only 90 degrees. Away. I didn't know that. That looks kind of weird, maybe? I'm not sure which would be better, using this? Or the... Uh, actual squares for building. This is working fine, I guess. This red line over here is the edge of where it's buildable for this house without upgrading the flame. So that doesn't like going up stuff. So that's probably about as good as that's gonna get. I think these don't really look that good up here. I didn't know they didn't go diagonally. Be like that. That looks fine. So next, let's make this into like a farming area out here. To do that, use the building tool and build fertilized farm soil. Maybe I should flatten this out as much as possible. Then place the dirt. Um, maybe I should go a little deeper. Take holes fast. So if it's that height, then we can place the farm soil on top of this without this poking through. Always have problems with the ground underneath poking through the farm soil. I'm trying to get this right this time. So the way the hoe works is it lowers the train to the spot you first click, which is a bit weird, but you get used to it. Okay, now the fertilized farm soil, about like that. And then once that's placed, you can stretch this farm soil out to cover as much as you want.
I kind of curved a little too far back into that. Whoa. Let's see if I can... Which button is it? R? Let's see if I can level this. Floating pyramid. I don't know how I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> I don't know if you can get rid of that. Because it doesn't click on it. Uh. Oh. Okay, that got rid of it. Hope can be a little finicky, or the rake, whatever it's called in this. Alright, so we got that down. Now, I'm gonna put down some corn. They gotta be about that far apart. Unfortunately, there's no fast way to place these. But I won't be harvesting these, I don't think. I'll just be putting them here for decoration, mostly. front of that. Kind of going for plants that would be used to make alcohol. I guess you wouldn't really use wheat, but I'll just pretend it's barley, I guess. Alright. What else did I bring? Saffron? If I put like a small saffron garden right here, maybe. I was about to break though. You know, maybe a faster way of doing this. I think you can delete the ground with right click. Yeah. I probably should have done that. I always forget you can do that. It feels kind of like a cheat. I'm not sure why that put ground above it. Five of those. Okay, looks pretty good. There's a little hole right here. Whoops. Thought it was on the right. So next, let's get rid of these trees. I so could dismantle them, but I would. I get wax too, actually, that's pretty good. What? That dropped so much honey. It almost feels like a bug. Is it bugging? It feels like it's giving me infinite of those. That's weird. Never had that happen before. Getting like infinite honey. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Got these other fancier fences. This wagon might have to go. It looks okay. It's blocking the road. 
So I left this here so that I could get up here and take this down. Um, doing like one of those Looney Tunes things where you dismantle the thing you're standing on. Ah! <laughs> Sewing on the plank I'm standing on. I think the rest of this is pretty good. Roof for the chimneys fully done. So I'm gonna take these stairs down. Because I don't think I need access to the roof anymore. I wonder. I don't know if I like this. I feel like that looks kind of bad. What if I do something that... No, I didn't really bring building materials. Kind of looks better without that. So... this either, and it almost looks like maybe there's a treasure in this or something? Probably not. string to make a workbench. I came down here to make a workbench. Um, I might have to fast travel to repair that. Before I leave, I've got these ugly bathroom things. I was thinking I brought more of those, but maybe I didn't bring that. What I did bring was stuff to make food and stuff with, so we could put the cooking stuff over here somewhere. Not really sure where. The problem is this oven isn't actually functional. I was hoping to have an oven that's functional in here. That looks okay, I guess. And then this oven too is functional. Let's get rid of these. Oh, I've got a candle up there. It's always hard to get it to dismantle. No matter where you aim, it doesn't bring up the dismantle button. What? Oh, broke the candle and the thing separately? Uh, since I can't demolish that, pop it with the wand. Alright, so now I got a real usable oven in here, real usable cooking fireplace, along with the other one that's kind of just for looks, because the game doesn't let you use it for anything. Do some decorations. I got a candle, some bowls, too close, oh these are like plates, get rid of these, so next thing I brought is a beehive thing, to have some honey production going. Not exactly sure where to put that. Maybe out here. I don't know though. Having it right in the front by the front door seems kind of dumb. You can have all your customers getting stung by bees. Maybe out here in the back. So 
so it doesn't like being on a hill at all. Good. I'll probably put some trees back here. I like the red maple back there. Um, some things like this. I brought cleaned up versions. These I don't think you can make. They're like stacked on their side versions of the barrels. I have never seen those as a buildable option. Still have not seen these as an option. Quite a bit farther in the game now than I was when I built the first two parts of this. Still missing some stuff. So I've got barrels, these that could go somewhere. Let's put one of these little tables. Well, this room is so small, there's already no room for bathroom stuff, practically. What if, what if we just got rid of this, whatever this room is, and just made it into the bathroom? Just like break everything. It's really nice that you can just build wherever. I sometimes forget how much freedom you have over the walls and stuff and just get stuck in the mindset of, oh yeah, I'll just work with what the walls already are because I can't change them, but oh wait, I can tear every block down and remove everything. It's more freedom than you're used to in these games. Turn off snapping, see if I can get this to cooperate. So, notice that sometimes it doesn't let you build stuff over walls. If you poke a hole in it, and then build, and then remove, it removes the whole wall at once. What is this saying remove about? The wall? Oh, then this wall is like two layers thick right here. Okay, so that was one I placed, so that was, well, that was why it wasn't the reason. Look at this chair that's like inside the wall where the developers put that, because I didn't put that there. That's funny. So let's see, what kind of wall is this? This is flintstone block wall. Get this chair out of the wall. I guess since I can, I can replace this floor. Kind of a pain. Might be faster one by one, honestly. takes quite a while to replace stuff like that. I'm trying to s speed through it in the video and shut up and build so that I can just put it on fast forward. Okay. So now, I've got a much bigger room for a bathroom. I can put proper bathroom stuff in here. I have to go back and get that though. It's dark in here. Do I have any uh, wall things? Wall lamps? I ran out of lamps. I'm gonna put this one on off the door. I'm gonna put this one in this dark spider room.
brought some more clutter junk to kind of make this look like a storage area down here. And I guess it would be a functional storage if you wanted it to be. That was so neat. Alright. So I've got a few more shelves. I got some more fences. Might take this down, place it with the fancy style. Alright. Got two more things left, but they're kind of tall. I wonder how you get rid of these leaves that are coming through the wall. Oh, you can actually shoot them with the wand. Wait, no, that does push them away momentarily, but it doesn't get rid of them permanently. It's like blow back. I wonder if you can get any wall hangings like this thing. I don't know, I've never seen that. It's getting dark out. Creepy forest noises. So the only thing I have left is this tall thing. Pretty good job of filling in all the space in this. Oh wow, it's dark in here. So I need to bring more lights? Bathroom stuff? Sleep. I will resume when I have done it. Alright, and we're back. So, I grabbed a few more bathroom things while I was over there in the other house. And let's see if we can make like a shower with the tub under it. Looks like that works. Might have to raise it up a little bit. And bathroom or toilet and a sink. Let's actually swap these. Sink there. Toilet there. Got some other stuff like poster. Huh. Too much tessellation on these walls. Uh, don't exactly know where you'd Put the candle on here. That kind of works. Looks like it's about to fall off though. We kind of have room for this. Sort of. Put a little fireplace in here to keep this warm. And last little final detail here. Let's put like a raised floor so that this bathtub doesn't look like it's floating in the air. Huh. I, uh, I might work that out once this one's the big place. Eh, uh, mostly it worked it out. What happens if I put this on this? put way too much effort into that. <laughs> that looks like some kind of weird shrine. Alright, good enough. Unnecessarily effort put into the bathroom. So, I have this giant fireplace. I thought it might be cool to upgrade the fireplace that's in here with the bigger one. It's not going to be that hard. Maybe it kind of just fits in there and looks pretty good as it is. Maybe like that, and then I can just extend the floor. I have to 
get rid of these. I hate to ruin the butter churn though. I can't place a butter churn, so that's the only butter churn we'll ever get in here. What if we need to churn some butter? That's not actually functional. It's just totally fake. Totally for looks. Is that? That's not very even, is it? That looks more even. Perfection. The little cup there, so it looks like someone's sitting there and drinking their tea. Coffee, whichever you prefer. Uh, let's see, I had... I brought these skulls for a very specific purpose. Go down here into the basement where the spider room is. Spiders in here at the moment. I thought it might be cool to decorate this room with some of these little skulls. Skull lights. Maybe even a little fireplace down here. And bed. Now there's like a secret lair down here. Better than not doing anything with this space at all. I didn't really bring much else that would look good in here. Oh yeah, the bed. Put it right up against this weird growth thing. Perfect. I would actually live down here. Let's shut that. What we should do is maybe get like a hidden door and put the hidden door over that and have it be a hidden entrance. Might have to do that. Alright, what else did I bring? Torches. I think I was going to put the torches in the underground room, but we used the skull things for that. Those could go... Oops. Those could go just around the property. some of these on the front. Can't tell during the day, but I'm sure they'll be helpful at night. I got that lamp there. This looks like a good spot for this. Perfect. Oh, the corn's growing. Looks good. A bunch of corn, a bunch of wheat. I brought these sugar canes. Where would these look good? I'm not really sure. I kind of want to put a garden in here too. I don't know if sugar cane would look good in the garden though. It's kind of almost a wild looking plant. So this has this road. This road is the one spread. Try and make like a planter area for that. Sugar cane. Oh, wow, that's a really big block.
Uh, I guess the way that would work is you'd have to place the farm soil up higher. It's too high. It's a little thing. Probably good. Just enough for a couple of these. Trees are on the way. I have trees growing on the seed sprouting table back at the house. And I'll put a bunch of trees up on this hill here. I don't think they'll be the big ones like that. We'll see. I've never planted trees before. So I think I need to head back to the house again, see if the trees are done. And we're back again. Brought some trees. So it looks like the way the trees work is they also require the farm soil. You can't just put them in the ground. So I gotta make these little patches of farm soil here. I am not tear holes in the terrain, dang it. And then plant a tree. It's gonna take a while. Uh, this is kind of big. I kinda wish you could just plant the trees without the farm soil. It's not like they're a crop. I mean, I guess they grow wood as a crop, but trees are everywhere. They grow wild in the Grass is fine, but if I want to grow them, gotta have special soil for that. They still don't really need to be big. Kind of making them unnecessarily large. Wait. This is letting me place this. Oh. I wonder why it wasn't letting me place it in the grass before. And that begs an interesting question. If you put it on fertilized soil, does it make a difference? We'll see. We'll see what difference there is between the fertilized soil trees and the regular bare soil trees. Two more. I don't know if these trees are really going to fit in in this biome, because these trees are from the other type of forest. Although I guess that over there... Eh, that still looks like this jungly forest stuff. So, you actually have to hit these. pieces with this pickaxe to get rid of them. So let's put some dirt here. So I'll put some flowers or something on this. It's a little tall. Got this weed I could put up here, but that might look weird. Need more like flowers. So let's put a few outdoor tables out here, maybe. Benches. Let's see. Make that look cleaner. Maybe. Let me copy this road. Possible to place stone road? I don't think that's stone road. I don't actually know how you make stone roads in this. That's one way. You can use the angle to 
to angle the brake to like bring up the road to a higher level. It's weird how this road comes with grass in it sometimes. And smooth, oops. Smooth this out. Always pressing alt instead of R to switch that. Good enough. Back to what I was doing. Let's put it like. when you have furniture next to it. Get out of here. Alright, that looks pretty good. So, I got a few more tables and chairs. I remember there was some chairs and tables that needed to be replaced somewhere. I think it was this other side. So yeah, like this one. Backpack. Whoa. Are these off the 90 degree angle that they're usually on? How did that even happen? rotate things like that? I had no idea you could rotate things by holding R. But then like you can't get it back to the original angle. So it'll go to every angle except for aligned with the world. That's kind of weird. Oh maybe So snapping, snapping makes it so it snaps to 90. You don't actually have to snap it to 90. You can turn off snapping and hold, whoops, what did it just do? Hold R and you can spin everything freely. I had no idea you could place things off the 90 degree angle. Put this oven back. But then the only problem with it is if you're off snapping it. doesn't let you put things on like this straight 90 degree angle anymore. It's always off by a little bit. It's kind of annoying. But, I break? At least you have the ability to rotate it as freely as you want. Oh, and this even like snaps onto this table. Interesting. Learning lots of new things still. Maybe they have that? Yeah. Right. So those are replaced. I didn't really bring anything to decorate them. Besides candles. Throw some candles. It even has like s snapping points for the candles. Interesting. It's missing the thing. Jump out of it. It's a tree I planted.
broke my hoe. Alright, I'm gonna stop this video here and move on to part four. For part four, I'm gonna be using a better computer and running at higher quality and 4K. So hopefully things look a little better. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.